Hey everyone, people always ask me how first responders manage to stay awake for such long periods of time with literally no sleep without showing any signs of sleep deprivation. Well, that's because of our incredible energy boosting diets or what I like to call the first responder food pyramid. When they first designed a normal food pyramid, not that anyone actually eats that way, they designed it to maximize a healthy blend of things like fruits and vegetables. But when you're a first responder and you gotta stay sharp for 24 glorious hours and then attempt to repeat that process for 25 to 30 glorious years of adrenal destroying fun, you don't eat based off of nutritional value. You eat based off of two things. Will it fill me up and will it keep me up? And that's why the basis of all first responders diets is caffeine. Whether that's coffee, energy drinks, I mean, I even saw a guy nebulize a soda one time and he was still alive after. It was proven to me in that moment that even first responders' bodies are too stupid to give up. Caffeine keeps those brain cells and muscles happy and firing all day and night, no matter how much sleep we've gotten. Now, where most people would get fruits and veggies and other things rich in vitamin C and stuff, we get snacks. Because the only vitamin C we're getting is vitamin cookies, vitamin cakes, vitamin chips, and other general diabetes causing yum yum snacks that manage to make their way into our stations and vehicles no matter what we do. And if you work in EMS, this is most likely where you're eating from during your entire shift. Because when you're stuck in an ambulance for 18 straight hours, getting yoinked from hospital to hospital, a bag of chips and a candy bar is the only thing stopping you from living out your ultimate fantasy of finding out how flammable that boo boo bus really is. Now, if you're lucky enough to get to eat full meals, then you've made it to the meat section of our food pyramid. Now I say meat because meals aren't based off of a combination of food items coming together to make a dish. It's what kind of meat are we having? Can we add more meat on top of that meat? Shouldn't we have a side? So we can add more meat on top of that. Now it's important to point out, you can be the model dieting human outside of the job, but the second you walk through the doors on shift, every well-balanced diet in the world seems to go to crap. Especially if you have a crew that likes to eat together. Cause no one wants to be that person that makes everyone else in the crew pay more for dinner because you decided to bring your own boiled chicken and broccoli fart generating meal. And finally at the top of the pyramid, the two things that seem to keep first responders going more than anything. I mean, profit and ice cream. Ice cream is not only the nightly thank you for your service consumed in every fire and EMS station across the world, but it's also used to celebrate pretty much everything that happens. Got overtime? Ice cream. Made it on the news? Ice cream. Got a job? Ice cream! And ibuprofen is the cherry on top of this pyramid of inevitable cardiac arrest, trying to keep our knees and backs from seizing up after years and years of abusing the living crap out of our bodies, just trying to get us to that finish line of a pension or retirement, which none of us will live long enough to enjoy. Try to catch me howling at the moon.